Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife, Melissa, and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald, and this is Curiosity Inc. Good morning, everyone. Back at the house today, trying to get a little bit of work done. Uh, Josh and his brother Dakota should be here pretty soon to do a little bit more work on the kitchen. It is actually nice outside. Of all the times that I had freezing weather, it's gonna be, um, in Fahrenheit, it'll be about 65 degrees or about 16 degrees Celsius here today. So the weather is actually warming up and as you can see, it's thawing. I don't have to freeze my butt off anymore. <laughs> if I would have only known, give it a couple of weeks and it would start getting better. We have a lot of work going on today. The uh, plumbers are here in installing the uh, faucets on the kitchen sink. I'm gonna be doing some painting and prep. And uh, like I said, hopefully the kitchen will get finished up over this weekend. Last week we got the kitchen sink cleaned up and more or less in place. We bought an old style faucet, which is right there. And uh, the plumbers are here today to try and install it. So hopefully we'll have running water in the kitchen today and get it roughed in for a dishwasher. And I'll try and find one of those in the next week or so. I am gonna check on the front door. Part of the reason why I came out today was to see if I had the original side glass panels for the front door. Um, I know I have one sitting over here, kind of on the ground. Um, I'm going to see if I can get those repaired and take them in. There was one in the attic, and that's what I have to go try and find right now. But before I do that, I have to get some paint brushes and uh, finish doing the, uh, the sealer on the front door. So off to the local paint shop to get some supplies. Oh, look at that. Look what I found, guys. <laughs> There's my keys for the rental van. I would never have found those. It took, what, uh, the snow melting off completely before I found these things. <laughs> oh, well, at least I found them. And I did notice that the door guys came back and they put the trim all along the top and they did a great job matching it for the original trim that's upstairs. So nice custom made door with nice custom made trim. So the guys are here and we are noticing that uh, Carmen was here fixing the ceiling. So all that gross stipple has been professionally removed. He started to patch and repair the damaged section of the ceiling and I hear that he's coming back today to finish it up completely, which means that we can start thinking about painting in this area and getting this room looking good. So the guys are staying over the weekend. I'm headed back today a little bit early because it's Patrick's birthday tomorrow. We're doing a party at our house. And uh, the guys are staying behind to work on the kitchen. Hopefully when I get back next time, that thing will be just about done. They, uh, they fixed this with this, just random pieces covering random pieces. Right, so the floor, the south floor was broken at one point or damaged, or maybe there was something else here and they removed it. It, like, it looks like there's something, I mean, cause why, why would it explain this broken piece right here? That doesn't make any sense. It, well, I mean, the stairs could have been in a different position. Right, exactly, or, yeah. So what I'm saying is there must have been something there uh, at one point and then they did whatever. So we'll have to figure out is. what to do to fix it, but right, yeah. Exactly. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that big of a deal. Uh, right. As long as we don't get anything that will, like if water gets down here, that would be bad. So uh, we'll just it's just a here. matter of, of, of fixing that and then it, it, this won't be a big deal. Okay. Uh, once it's once it's done. Well, that's why you guys are here this weekend. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Somewhere up in the attic, Patrick would have had to move the stained glass when he was putting the insulation in. Which we will look at a vapor barrier vent in here at some point for those of you watching. We just had to do something because all the heat was escaping. I'm gonna see if I can't find the stained glass window that belongs to the side light down in the main floor. So I found one section, I think this might actually have been out of a window. It is the right width for a side light. Um, the other one I believe was a side light and it is much more damaged. I'll see if I can get it out. 
Yeah, so I found, I have three of these panels. Two of them put together, one on top of the other, is the, the correct height. But I don't have enough. But we could definitely use it as a template and maybe use part of the original pieces to get it repaired. That would look really good. Though. It'd be nice to get it back in. Well, we'll take those into the city and see what we can do with them. So Dakota and I are headed off to the UFA, which is um, kind of a farm store, but they also sell wood, to grab some supplies to do the baseboard and trim around the windows. We're gonna go see what they have. Hopefully we'll find something so these guys can get cracking for uh, tomorrow. And this is an outdoor lumber yard, which means everything is pretty much just stacked up outside. You pull your vehicle up nearby and load up. So we're gonna get the uh, one by six by 16s, which are gonna be the new baseboard for the downstairs. Raw lumber, but since they're gonna be painted or stained, it won't matter. So I'm on the road, the tailgate dropped down with the load of wood, but somehow the wood didn't all fall out all over the place. Who knows? So I'm walking behind the truck right now just to make sure no wood falls off. We only have about a block to go, so I gotta keep up with them. Since the tailgate is broken, I have to fix it when we get back. Yeah, we're just gonna turn here. Take her easy. We didn't have any sandbags or anything to throw in the back, so we're just taking it nice and slow. I'm spotting from behind. Scary. It was a little bit scary. We made it though. So we'll have to fix the tailgate after, but we're gonna offload the wood, get it inside the house. And for the last couple weeks, a fellow's been wanting the old lantern out of the basement, and I keep forgetting to bring it, but guess what? Today's the day I'm bringing it. And this little uh, lamp I'm going to use for highlighting a showcase at my store. Put those in the car. Got faucets. Soon to have a drain. It's looking really good. The, the guy that installed it saved a cow's life this morning. I'm not even lying about it. One of the cows on his property gave birth. And he had to pull the baby out of a river. Freezing river, but he's unwilling to go on camera to talk about it. But what a hero to that cow. I'm up here painting the bedroom and downstairs all I can hear is Josh trying to convince the plumbers to let him ride their horse. <laughs> he wants to ride a horse, he doesn't want to pay somebody, he doesn't want to go to a ranch and like pay somebody like a normal person. He just wants to go out and randomly get on a horse. So uh, I guess we'll see if that actually happens. <laughs> I think they're a little bit leery because they're not willing to say yes or no. I think I'd be leery too, Josh has never been on a horse I don't think. Although he said he rode a camel once at the zoo, I don't think it's the same thing. But uh, yeah, should be interesting. So one thing that's been causing us a bit of grief is the back door, and yes, there's two back doors on the house, the side door here. This one uh, needs to be replaced. It is broken. Uh, there's no, look, it's, my arm goes right through. So it's really drafty too. So we have, uh, actually last, when I was playing that gig, uh, the, the, the country thing that I was doing at the bar, ran into a family that was from out of town and uh, their son actually builds doors and that's what he does for hobbies. So he's gonna down and have a look and uh, see what he can do. Okay, I'm I'm Austin, and in my spare time, outside of my carpentry job, I build antique style doors and stained glass windows. You do stained glass windows too? Yeah. Okay, I might have another job for you. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'll replace this back door here that Alex wants me to redo, and maybe a stained glass window if he's interested. Oh yeah. Okay, so um, I also want to have you look at the basement door too. So this door needs to be replaced. We have a basement door that's missing. We have no idea what happened to it. Basement door is just gone. I don't think we threw it out. We might have. Um, but I need to do stainless stained glass windows for the side lights. Um, but let's walk around. We'll have a look. So are there many other guys hand making doors in your area? No, not at all. So is it like a Highlander situation where there can only be one? Yeah. <laughs> You're the, the lone survivor? Okay. Yeah. Um, so you think it's doable? Is it jam in good enough shape, you think, to... Yeah, yeah, that's... I can work with that and just build the door itself. Now, do you think that you'd be able to replicate some sort of casing, like the old... Kind of like what we have going on up there? Yeah, I could do something pretty much just like that. Thank you. Yeah. Quick, Crete. You know, a lot of you watching kept saying, oh, Josh must be dabbling in other medicinal sorts of cigarettes. Josh does not do any of that stuff. <laughs> this is just the way he is, folks. He's a mellow dude. He's just a mellow guy. The first pour of Quickcrete, you've built a nice little uh, plywood form 
around yeah. it. This is more of an experiment because I've actually never done this before. Oh, okay. <laughs> First time for everything, folks. I've done it with like an underlay type of concrete, but I've never done it with anything with aggregate in it. So we'll see how it... Hopefully it levels out. Oh, it, it'll level out. Uh, to keep it smooth, like as you can see a little bit here, yeah. this is where he just, just poured it and he was going like this. Yeah. Which uh, it's actually easier. Uh, he was just going like this, right? Yeah. If you go like this, you can make it smooth. And I can see where it's full. Right, exactly. So he needs to put a little bit more, but uh, yeah. Do you have to do that before it sets? Yeah. Uh, do to fill oh, the well, spot. yeah. Obviously, you gotta fill it up, but um, oh yeah, I see you got more in the bucket down yeah. there. Word. Okay. So, Makes sense. Yeah, cool. Just, Thanks. So, kitchen sink is plumbed in. I don't. Does he have a, the drainage hooked up on it yet? And I found this very retro looking faucet online. Got shipped out really quickly. I think it looks really good. This is crazy, and I couldn't make this up even if I tried. I found a little jar of coins, which is cool. But this is the key to that little truck that I kept finding parts for. I actually found the original key for it. So, uh, how do you like them apples? Pretty cool. I hadn't gone through all of the cupboards in the washroom here. We've been using this washroom and there are still little pieces of pottery hidden around the house. So there's one wrapped up here. I found a couple others too. Must have been pieces she was working on tucked away. But there's one there. There's a little guy there. There might be something that bag got top too. Going through the bag and when was it packed up? 1978. I wasn't even born yet. And she wrapped these things up. And it looks like it's mostly shells. All seashells, different types. That's what was in the bag. The ceiling is almost done with the second layer of skim coat in the one corner that needed repair. The fellows are upstairs working on the upstairs washroom, running new lines and getting everything repaired so we're not gonna have problems with leaks again. We have the door completely finished, basically, other than me getting the stained glass windows installed on either side, and yes, I will bite the bullet and figure out how to get those ones repaired or get them uh, imitated. Um, Austin, who is here, who, um, <laughs> who I met at a bar when I was singing Johnny Cash songs, is gonna make us a basement door, a better bathroom door, and a back door for the house. And um, he's uh, a carpenter, does it in his free time, but I've seen samples of, of his work and it looks really good, so I'm confident he'll do a great job. Josh and Jakota are staying here over the weekend while I have to head off. So I'm going to farewell, say farewell to these guys and um, bid them adieu as I head back into the city. But I have to make one more pit stop before I get home. Okay guys, I'm back at the house. This was just kind of a quick update because I really just went down for the day. But I have some news. Uh, Mary wants to come see the house. I'm really nervous about that, hoping that she's going to be okay with the fact that it looks a lot different than when she last saw it. Um, but Mary wants to come see the house uh, April 5th or 6th. So I have to get the house ready, at least on the main floor, for someone to come and visit uh, in a wheelchair. So I've got a lot of work to do. I'm headed back out there um, this coming week with my son Stephen, and we are going to plow through the main floor of the house and really try and get it done, which means I have to do uh, tiling in the kitchen, I have to do floors, I have to do general cleanup, and just all kinds of work. I'm really nervous about it, but you have to stay tuned because the next episode um, won't be the one with Mary in it, that'll come later on, but the next episode will show you just how far we were able to get and whether it's presentation ready to have someone walk through, to have the uh, former owner walk through the house. So big updates coming very soon and we're starting to see some transformation. Uh, really happy with the progress that we had on today's video with the kitchen sink going in and Josh has just about done the, the kitchen. It is starting to look really good. So thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. You can check us out on Instagram at Curiosity Inc. Y-E-G on Facebook at Curiosity Incorporated. And uh, thank you so much and stay tuned for uh, next week's episode. We'll see you all soon. Bye for now.